top three Linux commands, part three, first command, copy. So we'll be able to copy between the files and also between the folders. CP is the copy command. The arguments are CP and you have to give the source path and also the destination path. First, we will try to copy the file name. I'm just going to copy this file, file one, and then to a file called file two in the same place. So it will just copy. If you see here, the file is getting created and the contents is getting copied. Say if I need to move the same file with the same name to a different destination, I can do. So here, if you see, the file one is getting created. Likewise, you can also move between directories. Sorry, copy between directories. Copy hyphen R is the recursive command where you can directly move a directory from one place to other. I'm just trying to copy this uh, directory to a different place. This is nothing but uh, the directory is present here. So th this is how we use this copy directory. Let me just clear move command. MV is the command for moving the files and directories between one place to another. So moving the files, we can use the file source path and also the destination path. So in this case, you can use this command also to uh, work it as a file rename command. So I, between the same source and destination, I'm just moving the file, but with different name. So this would just change the name of the file. So if you see here, the name of the file has been changed from file one to file two here. So this is just an indirect uh, file renaming command. But if you need to really move the file from one place to another, you have to give the source and destination path. The file two has been moved from Linux folder to the root folder. Now you can also move. Now you can also move between uh, directories. This is the command to move the directories. So source path and also the destination path. So if you are able to see here. The directory has been moved here so the third command we are going to see today is remove command rm so using the rm command we will be able to delete the files and also the folders so to delete a file we can use rm and the file name in case uh, say uh, you want to delete a directory you can use rm hyphen r and the directory name and also you can have the interactive thing so that it will reconfirm before getting deleted do you want to remove the directory? I can give yes and this directory will get deleted. Thank you.